What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today is our first day in the garage. So I've got the new car here, I've got it all set up. I've actually already got it up on the jack stands. And the first thing that I really want to investigate is that there is um, some slight rub on the front right tire. So what I want to do today is just see if I can get that wheel pulled off and uh, check underneath just to make sure that everything in that wheel well is okay. I want to make sure we don't have any like bent control arms or really like any damage to any of those parts. Because of the fact that this car was a rebuilt title um, and the damage was primarily on that front right side, uh, I just want to like check everything out and make sure that it's good to go. Um, it could just be that the tires are too wide and that's just rubbing on the inside of the plastic fender liner, which is not too big of a deal. I'm planning on getting the, I mean, the tires need to be changed pretty soon anyway. So um, let's go ahead and see if we can get the wheel pulled off and uh, we'll see what we got. Okay, well, I'm an idiot. Uh, I just went through the trunk to get out just like the standard um, lug wrench. And you know, these are aftermarket wheels, right? So, of course, they've got aftermarket lug nuts on them. For some reason, I'm sitting here thinking like, oh yeah, this'll work. The aftermarket lug nuts are longer than what this is gonna be able to pull off. So, um, to be continued. Actually, not to be continued. <laughs> uh, so I was like, oh yeah, I can just turn the wheel to see where it's like colliding. So it normally has the most problem whenever I turn the wheel all the way to the right. So basically when the front wheel is cranked furthest to the right. So what I can see is pretty obviously that this wheel, I don't know how well you guys can see it, is that this tire is essentially making contact with the fender liner right here. So that's pretty good. Well, I mean, obviously not good, but it's better that it's just rubbing on this plastic piece and I can, I'm gonna replace these tires anyway. And you can actually see that these chunks taken out of the edge of the tire here are basically like another indication that it's the tire just rubbing on the fender liner. So, um, again, I don't know how much you guys can see here, but essentially the, um, this looks like a stock spring from what I can tell. Um, actually, you know what? I really can't tell. I need to do some more investigation into this because I'm not sure if this is just a stock strut with aftermarket lowering springs on it, but it looks like it's got threads here. Like this is used to control the height adjustability. So these might just be like a cheap coilover set with a, uh, what's called a camber plate up top. Um, other than that, I mean, everything else looks fine. I mean, it's not, you know, it's just regular brake line. It's not steel braided or anything. Um, the control arm, really your A arm, looks fine. Um, everything else seems to check out, which is really nice actually. So it gives me a little bit more confidence in that the front end of this car isn't totally screwed. <laughs> um, basically, it's just telling me that um, I need a new set of tires and potentially an alignment because this doesn't happen on the left-hand side. So like whenever I take the, take the wheel and I crank it all the way to the left, I don't really have this issue. But when I crank the wheel all the way to the right, this right side scrubs pretty bad. So uh, pretty much get these wheels off, get new tires on them, get an alignment, which I would need to do anyway once I got new tires, you'll be good to go. Okay, so what I was basically trying to tell you guys a second ago was that it looks like it's a, it's an aftermarket coilover with what's called a, a camber plate. So essentially, here is like the top of your um, like a coilover, like your shock, which you would normally call like your shocks, right? Your shock absorbers. But so, as you can see, this has some like left to right camber adjustability. But these are Velox top hats. So essentially what that means, I mean Velox is just the brand, but what that means is that if you wanted to, you could get top hats that would give you camber adjustability so you can make your wheel go from straight up and down 
two at an angle, you can get plates, these camber plates, and it'll give you that angle adjustability for your wheel, but it won't necessarily give you any like, um, you know, compression or dampening adjustment like a higher end coilover system would. But then at the same time, what it looks like is that it's a, it looks like it's an aftermarket coilover. But normally, like if you get a, a cheap, like a low end coilover system, um, they just won't, like you can adjust the ride height, but you can't adjust camber and you can't adjust uh, compression, rebound, any of that kind of stuff. So that kind of looks like it was just a but it was a very budget suspension setup. Like they wanted to get the car lower, they wanted to have the angle adjustability, but they didn't want to like spend a bunch of money on it. So I mean, really, for like 700 bucks, you can get a, a setup that has height, ride height, and camber adjustability. But whatever. So I mean, they spent probably three grand on the turbo kit and then probably a thousand dollars to have it tuned but then they spent four hundred dollars on their suspension parts and they spent almost two grand on a set of wheels and another thousand on a set of tires i don't know the person who had this car before me just like cut corners where it doesn't make sense to cut corners anyway so and also another reason why i'm thinking i need an alignment just looking at it here is that based like these are essentially you know jammed all the way to the right like they can't get any further in that direction but on the right side they're not they're basically centered as you can see so yeah new tires get an alignment and we should be good okay so i found a bigger problem than I thought I originally had. Um, before I put the car down, I was just like going around and looking at all of the tires. And uh, I knew I was gonna have to replace these soon, but I didn't realize I was gonna have to replace these like almost immediately. So this is the back left tire. And as you can see, this is just like completely cracked. Yeah, so that's that's really bad. That's not good. I'm honestly surprised. So I drove this thing from the dealership in Tennessee back to Greenville, South Carolina. So I'm actually kind of surprised that these tires made it that far. And what the only reason that it makes sense that these have this kind of wear is that these are the same tires that it had when it was sitting like at the impound lot. Like this is like dry rot. This is like what happened if a car was sitting for a really long time. So this is kind of leading me to believe that this is the same set of tires that it had when it was like being repaired. And they've put 5,000 miles on this car since it had been fixed. You didn't think to put a new set of tires on it? So, yeah, that just means that I'm gonna actually end up having to replace these tires really s a little bit sooner than I originally wanted. But um, fortunately, I do have, um, so this is my roommate's old set of wheels for his uh, uh, Subaru WRX STI. And then my old set of wheels, not like the ones that were on the car on my old Scion when I crashed it, but these are the ones that I had before those, that set of wheels. These are the um, Koenig Decagrams, actually with the, oddly enough, with the same tires that are currently on the new BRZ, obviously in a lot smaller size. But so what I'm probably gonna do is take these bad boys, throw them on the car while I'm having new tires put on these wheels. But before I have new tires put on these wheels, I've got, a, I've got a little something I want to do to those, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, that's just about going to wrap it up for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like on this video if you liked it. Give me a subscribe. I'm just getting started here. i got a lot to do, so i got a lot of videos coming out pretty soon on this car between, obviously, the wheels and tires. Um, you know, getting the engine tuned is going to be interesting. I'm going to be doing some driving videos here pretty soon. 
as well as videos with this. So this is my motorcycle, this is my roommate's bike. Um, but anyway, some videos on that coming soon. Plenty more videos on the car to come in the future. Uh, so yeah, stick around if you're interested and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.